Why is Bitcoin halved? To answer this question, we need to look into the issuing mechanism of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is issued through mining. At the start, for each new block mined, miners can get a reward of 50 Bitcoins. These Bitcoins will be added to the network for circulation. But if the miners keep mining like this, endless Bitcoin will be put into circulation. As a result, overinflation will occur and the value of the coin will significantly decline. So Satoshi Nakamoto proposed, for every 210,000 blocks mined, the Bitcoin reward for each block will be halved. If the block keeps growing at its current rate of 10 minutes per block, producing 210,000 blocks will require 2.1 million minutes. That is approximately 4 years. This is why the halving occurs every 4 years. So, in 2012, the block reward was reduced to 25 coins in the first halving. In 2016, the number was halved for the second time to 12.5. In 2020, it was halved for the third time to 6.25 coins. In 2024, it will be halved to 3.125 coins in the fourth halving. And so on. After the 32nd halving, zero reward will be created for block mining. That will happen in 2140 when the issuance of Bitcoin is finished leaving a constant number of 21 million coins in circulation. As a strategy that cleverly solves the problem of Bitcoin inflation, Bitcoin having holds up the speed of Bitcoin issuance, and, in the end, leaves a fixed number of coins in circulation. Those who are the most affected by Bitcoin having are the miners. The drastic reduction in mining rewards has increased mining costs in disguise. Under the influence of increased mining costs and anticipation that Bitcoin will become scarce, Bitcoin price undergoes several rounds of strong increases. After the first halving, the coin value skyrocketed from $11 to $260. After the second halving, it soared from $430 to $20,000 and then from $3,150 to $68,000 after the third halving. As the Bitcoin halves every four years, the cryptocurrency market would cycle between bull and bear trends. Investors believe that will present significant investment opportunities. In addition to Bitcoin, the majority of the currencies using the POW consensus mechanism also adopt the production reduction mechanism. For example, Litecoin LTC cuts mining rewards by 50. Approximately every four years, ZEC reduces mining rewards by 50. About every four years, ETC reduces production by 20. Every two years, Dash cuts mining rewards by 7.14. Every year, a decrease in mining output is seen favorably by the market, because it indicates higher mining costs and a slower pace of inflation. However, regarding Bitcoin halving, the following issues deserve special attention. 1. As the Bitcoin is halved every time, it will raise security issues for the Bitcoin network as decreased rewards lessen miners' motivation for mining. Two. Because the speed of block generation is uncertain and swings around 10 minutes, it is only an estimate that Bitcoin will be half every 4 years, and the exact time required to complete the halving may vary. 3. Although the market has all gone up in previous halvings, we cannot guarantee that the next halving will bring an upward market. There is still a risk of a price decline following the halving. 4. As the Bitcoin halving has a declining impact on the current general supply of the currency, there may be instances where the coins are overvalued. Therefore, you are advised to fully understand the risks involved, maintain a rational perspective on Bitcoin halving, and trade with caution.